you think you can't spit on me? I will have your stinking lies for this. You cannot hide. Not from Malavida Valdez. Up here, fatso. Hey, muchacho. Why you shoot at Malavida? Because you're a lousy piece of crud. And you ought to be hung upside down from your heels in a vat of pig slop. You're gonna make me angry, gringo. You're not smart enough to be angry. You're just mean and stupid. <laughs> One man alone in a bell tower? You are in the high position, but you are alone. Maybe I take a grenade and blow your house down. I'm not alone. Give this gonzo a haircut. Senor, you make the big mistake with me. There is no need for us to be enemies. This town is full of men with no heart. You and I, maybe we make a deal. Maybe you come down from there and we talk. Here's the deal. You give me Al Massey, turn your jeeps around and get out of town. And if I say no? Then I turn you into a taco dinner. You got 30 seconds, meathead, before we start blasting. No deal, senor! Hasta luego! Stitch him, Murdoch. I'm going around back. Dirt road and good luck, fatso. Better throw your weapons down. Holy moly, who are those guys? Hannibal, coming up the river at you. If they're unfriendlies, baby, you are in trouble. 
Those guys aren't the army. They're gorillas. Be ready. Let's go. He's got about 400 reinforcements. Apurense! Apurense! Colande! of surprise I have for you. <laughs> Wonderful sense of humor, huh? Bogey on the right! Bogey on the right! We are a target range of some hellacious garbage. Man. Shut up, Bernard! Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. The thing I like about the AD is you get a chance at such diversity, career diversity. Little garbage man, fool. Oh la la, it's just like Mama used to make. Yeah. This is garbage. Smell this. An ambrosial delight for the olfactory system. Oh. Yeah, man, that was the best load yet. Wait. Wait a minute. The nose knows. Hang all right. We got another one coming up. Man, how do you put up with yourself? It's difficult at times. <laughs> Tables available until tonight. Oh, we would like to see Herr Stratus. We fix his TVs. It's the blind guy from the TV shop on Delancey. I wonder how he found us. Uh, Herr Stratus, I, I believe we have some business to attend. Hey, Pops, would you leave Mr. Stratus alone, okay? Oh, uh, well, my nephew and I, we would like to have you have your men not coming down to Delancey Street and extorting money from all of us shopkeepers. I'm supposed to know what you're talking about? He doesn't know what you're talking about, Uncle. Oh, well, I'll explain. Your men, they come down and they threaten to hurt and kill my friends if they don't pay. Take a look. Uh, would you do me a favor? Give this gentleman and his nephew a drink and put him on one of those tables. We did not come here to drink, Herr Stratus. What did you come here for? Well, uh, altogether, uh, including uh, monies unjustly appropriated, uh, interest, damages, incidentals, on a minor fee for our collection service, uh, $166,200. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, that's rounded off to the nearest hundred. Yeah. Oh. You think my guys and I have been taking money for some fruit peddlers and you expect that I should pay it back? Yeah, if you would be so kind. 
<laughs> well, I want to tell you, I, <laughs> I, I don't carry that kind of money with me, and uh, even if I had, I was, I, I wouldn't be able to pay it back to you this particular moment. <laughs> don't take my proposal too lightly. Listen, what do you want? 166,200 bucks. Now that I got your attention, I'll lay it out for you. You get one more trip downtown. One. And that's to pay back all the money you took from those people on Delancey, Houston, and Bleecker Streets. Just so you don't forget the figure. Delancey, noon tomorrow. Uh, we'll have the soup line you bring the bread. You got any idea when garbage day is around here, Struthers? Oh, come on, fella. Don't be like that. When's trash pickup around here? Uh, uh, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, you and I have an appointment. Just so you don't forget, I thought we'd mark your calendar for you. I am the one who's nuts, man. Right over here. That's all, folks. Get those tuckers. The guys who get them stays alive. Face, we got a couple of invited guests, and they brought party favors. I thought you said there was only one car. Even when they play dirty, they play dirty. Yeah, but we play dirtier. What's the matter? Your watch stopped? You're early. You got a lot of wise lip responses, don't you? I hope everyone on the street knows that I'm going to wipe out this neighborhood and flush it down a sewer. I mean, what's your wise lip response to that? $166,200. That will buy you a safe trip out of here. We'll buy this. You're really a jamoke. OK, do it.
Okay, across the street in the cab. Move! to look at the safe. $166,200, remember? Hannibal, I know you love it when a plan comes together. large clearing about a quarter of a mile ahead. All I can see are the tops of buildings and the rotor of a chopper. You know, we've only got two hours until sundown. No wonder those guys are in the State Department. They don't know squat about timing on a rescue operation. We gotta hit that compound in daylight, or we miss the ride out of here. How are we gonna do this, Hannibal? Look, Briggs says this is the hut where they're holding General Ludlam. This is Rasham's headquarters. That's our target. We get hold of him. We control the game. Now, the plan is your basic straight-on surprise hit-and-run attack. If anything goes sour, we split up and rendezvous at the drop zone. Got it? Oh, well, wait. This ain't much of a plan, Hannibal. Are you kidding? It's a classic. It's your half-pincer movement inside a guarded perimeter. Tried and true, B.A. Man, he's on the jazz. And we're in trouble.
this don't look like Rasham's headquarters. <clears throat> Uh, Hannibal, this might be a good time to call King's X. Drop your guns. Arrest them. Some classic hell pincer movement. Need salt. Looks like the A-team's a few points behind at halftime here. Hannibal probably tried getting in by hitting him with what he'd call a classic frontal assault with a half-pincer movement. Is that what it was? Nah, it's just reckless. But with Hannibal, reckless is sometimes the best thing. Of course, every once in a while, it just doesn't work. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to freelance some kind of plan. Well, that's usually a Hannibal's end of the stick, but... That chopper has got to be the only way out of here. Forget about the chopper. We haven't got a pilot. Don't matter. I'll walk before I fly. Hannibal, look. It's a bunch of gasoline drums next to an ammo dump. That's what it is. Now, that wasn't very bright, was it? You think we could puncture a hole in one of them and leak a little? Maybe. Come on. Uh, now, we've only got an hour because Rasham is putting us in front of a firing squad. But I've got a plan. Now, if it's going to work, I have to get shot first. Get up. What are you going to do? What the Pentagon's paying us for. Be creative. I say, get up. It'll do. You ready to confess? I already gave you my answer. We're Americans. We've got nothing to confess. Then you're ready to die. Well, nobody's ever really ready, but it kind of comes with the territory. Let's go.
B.I.? Good, good. Huh? Let's get those magazines. Inside. If that happens, we did. I will not stand for this. I have innocent children to protect. What are you planning to do with all these guns? Shoot at the bad guys, ma'am. No, I will not allow gunfire in the courtyard area. It's too risky. Reverend Mother, you, the rest of the sisters, and the children will be in the cellar. Colonel! Colonel, I, I can't mount this this where we planned because of the roof. What's the matter with the roof? Part of it is in a state of repair. We were in the midst of fixing it when those fugitives took over. What are you using to repair that roof? Tar, why? Because I think I've got a plan. Stand by. We're on the way. Holiness! We're back! You be good girls and give us what we want. Maybe we go away. If not, maybe we burn your tanks to the ground. Send out your four friends, and no harm will come to you. Swing.
the truck. You heard him? All right, all right. Throw him out. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Don't you? Okay, face, you got him? I got him. Anything could happen on a night like this. Well, maybe nothing. Please tell this fool it's daytime, it ain't night. Murdoch, stay. Make a note. Now, they're all there. If we can catch Thomas with a lung chin, we bust their bubble. But it's going to be a little difficult to get there, especially seeing it's wide open spaces. It would help if the guards were faced in the other direction. Uh, you know what I mean, Face? The other direction? Excuse me, fellas. I am uh, hate to bother you, but uh, I'm looking for the uh, Felicity Cruz's tour ship. Uh, yeah, uh, Bud Pillsbury is, uh, yeah, Bud Pillsbury. He's my tour director. There's the fishing boat. There's no Bud Pillsbury around here. Oh, a fishing boat? I, <coughs> you sure? Come on, face, do it. I've got this. Have I? Have you, uh, uh, Okay, let's go. You okay? Oh, I've tried to take a cruise for over six years. You know, kind of clean out my lungs. Listen to me. And this is a good day. At least for some of us. Well, there better not be any cops out there, because if there are, I can maintain asylum by staying right where I am. You know Libyan registry covers me. The Lung Ching will take you safely to the city and on to your headquarters. Can we carry that for you? This? I'd like you never to touch this, OK? Up against the wall. You too, Shorty. Let's lose a rawhide, cowboy. I said, let's lose it. Oh my face! It's a. Ah! but it makes a nice microfilm case. Microfilm of what? Let's go.
I'm in the middle. I think Kyle knows where I am. Hey, can you read me? Kyle's got a beat on me. Is this Ducky Kyle? Crazy old Ducky. to bad guys of Taruni. but not enough. What did you do with Mrs. Harper and Harper's kid? You're in the equipment shed at Harper's place. Oh, great idea. How did you ever think of that? Now, next time you think you want to take somebody out, pal, don't get yourself a good squad. Get yourself a team. 